Now let's display the tables in our MySQL database into our web browser. So let's start, create a HTML table. And now let's create a while loop. First, let's create our query, our connection, and then our query. So I'm just setting the connection to the database. Oops. Now let's create a query. And our query is select all from form, which is the name of our table. Our database is YouTube. Our table is formed. Now let's create a variable called result and then we're gonna call our MySQL query function which takes the connection and our query. So now let's do our while loop. And then we're gonna make a variable called row and set that equal to mysql underscore fetch underscore array. Under mysql live fetch array function fetches row as an associative array, numeric array, or both. So inside of our brackets, we put our results variable. But we're gonna delete this and close our PHP tag here. And let's continue creating our table with the table data. So TR table data PHP echo. And we're gonna call our row variable. And inside of square brackets. Inside of block brackets, we're gonna call our table column name, and our first one is name. Then we close that and we put our closing PHP tag. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this. times and the next name of our column is last email and then country then we need to close our opening while loop curly brackets 
So here we open PHP again. We add our close and curly brackets. Then we close our PHP. Let's press Control S on your keyboard and let's see this in our browser. And you see it brought back the data in our table. Let me give this table a border of two. Press Control S, refresh. And you see our table that's in our MySQL database and the values. Let's go to our form that we made in the previous video. So local call slash YouTube slash and what I'm gonna do is display our table right here. So in the form that we created in our last video, I'm just gonna include and create center text. And then I'm gonna include our display.php file. Let's press Control S, refresh. We have a problem line 69. Oh, we didn't close our PHP. Press Control S and refresh. And you see here, we included our table in our index file. So let's add some data in our form. Press Submit. And you see detail, details inserted successfully. But I wanted to come back to the page after we insert our data. So let's go to our process that we made in our last video. And instead of the echo here, we're going to create a header and a location index.php, which brings us back to our file after we submitted our data. So let's press Control S. Refresh, let's add some data. Submit, and you see, let me write one. YouTube class, class, uh, country, America. Submit. And you see the script, the header script that we added in our process file. It brought, it adds, submits the data, and then br brings us back to our index.php. So that's how you display data into the database. Let's refresh this, and you see we have all our data in our database. 